Hi, this is Kenny Ryan. I'm a graduate student at the University of California, Riverside. This video illustrates our study on a hypothetical earthquake and tsunami scenario offshore Southern California that Eric Geist, Michael Barral, David Oglesby, and I have done in collaboration. When an earthquake happens on a fault that is offshore, some of the seafloor is permanently moved. If, for example, the seafloor moves upward, the water moves upward as well. At the beginning of this video, the seafloor movement from our hypothetical earthquake has generated a corresponding hypothetical tsunami. The tsunami then splits into two dominant wave trains, one headed to the north towards Santa Barbara and the other one headed to the south toward the island. What is really interesting here is that as the southward moving tsunami waves approach deeper water, the wave front begins to change direction making some of the tsunami waves travel toward Ventura and Oxnard. Note that even though our detailed tsunami calculations include flooding as the tsunami travels beyond the shoreline, this video does not show the tsunami waves traveling over land.